What's your holiday plans? I mean, you got this game tomorrow, and then uh, I'm sure Hugs is going to be like, hey, lay off the food and get ready to go for conference play, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't think they're going to tell me to lay off the food, but my plan is just to go home and enjoy my family. You going to get any uh, shots in over the break? Yeah, here and there, but not too much. I want to take a little time to rest because I'm kind of beat up right now. Yeah. Recharge your batteries? Yeah. I guess that first day back, you'll know how well you did, right? Oh, I'll be in shape. <laughs> I'm always in shape. Last time you were home was when? When was the last time you were home? Before I came back from our summer break was mm -hmm. the last time. So that's been about five, six months, mm -hmm. something like that. Is that hard? I mean, especially younger kids. You're, you're mm -hmm. used to it a little bit now. But younger guys, is that tough being away from home? I mean, it's still tough for me, you know, because I'm a mama's boy. So being away from her, it's kind of hard. But for the young guys, I, I think it's pretty hard because, you know, high school, you at home for the break. Well, you at home every day. But when you go to college, you see your family. Like, depending on how far you live, you probably see your family once or twice a year. So I think that's pretty tough. Yeah, I can't remember if it was the Buffalo game or the UAB game. It looked like you took kind of a pretty hard call. Yeah, that was – yeah, that was the um, Buffalo game. Buffalo? Okay. Yeah. I mean, you obviously kind of dealt with some hip stuff uh -huh. last year. So I mean, are, are, I mean, how are you feeling? I mean, is that something you you worried about? Or? Um. Every time coach asks me how I'm feeling, I always say I'll be all right. So <laughs> I'll be all right. When they say you got four days off. You really only have two because you got one day of travel out <laughs> and one day of travel back, right? So mm -hmm. you got to squeeze in those four in two days, right? I mean, actually, I got an early flight, so <laughs> that first day I'll still get the whole day. So, okay. but it is cut short by having to come back. But. Now, will your mom be having you do a whole bunch of chores? No, oh, no. See, I was, I was the youngest, so I was the one that wasn't doing nothing. So I don't <laughs> think so. So she'll let you slide a little bit. Yeah. You just eat mom's cooking, right? Yeah, only thing she get on me about is turning off the lights because when I go through the house, I turn on all the lights and I just leave them on. <laughs> What's the best dish? What are you waiting to eat when your mom's going to cook you? Uh, I say dressing. I'm a big dressing guy. I have had my mom's dressing in a minute, so I'm looking forward to that. Big big Christmas dinner? You guys do a big Christmas dinner? Or? Yeah, just my immediate family, though. We try to keep it small, not too big. Nice. Uh, does NIL make any difference on Christmas? That you gonna be able to buy some gifts this year, or, or will you? <laughs> or I mean, has that money come that you can't can? I mean, like I just said, I'm the youngest, so the youngest I always get sad of that. But I did buy my mom and sister a couple of things. That's about it. You know, my grandma always did like for one because she had what 17, 18 grandkids. So one Christmas she'll do all girls, and then the next Christmas she'll do the boys. So I'm doing the girls this Christmas. How'd she keep them all straight? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. You got the names all right, though, right? Oh, yeah, always, <laughs> always. Yeah. Katie, you've had a chance to <clears throat> review the Buffalo tape now, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. How are you guys different? What changes with and without Emmett defensively? Guarding the ball screen because Emmett's a veteran and he really know all our principles. So having him on that back line uh, is a big difference than not having him. Was there anything in particular that stood out to you watching that tape? Like, it seemed like they had a lot of success in the first half. Yeah, I'll ball. say yeah, I'll say mostly guarding the ball screen because Emmett does a good job guarding the ball screen. Why are you guys scoring more points this year? Sharing the ball. Playing as a team, I think that's the key. Same sure. sets, right? Same same offense you did last year. Same exact offense, just sharing. Different players. Different players, more unselfish players, want to see others win. Does it maybe demonstrate that you know, a system that he runs can still score a lot of points if players buy in and, and will pass it and not dribble it? And for sure. If you, if you buy in, the players will work. He's been running them for a minute. He always tell us you know, they work for his Final Four team. So if they can work for the Final Four team, they can work for us too. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, no, I was going to say something different. But uh, uh, anyway, um, 
in, I forget which game it was, but you took, we were talking to Seth about off balance shots. Mm -hmm. You took one of the great shots of the year, I thought, mm -hmm. under, under the basket, leaning mm -hmm. back, one hand, uh -huh. off one leg. Hey, would you explain that shot to me, what happened there? That hope, I know we was down to like the last second, the last couple seconds of the shot clock. I caught the ball and I slipped. So as soon as I got out, I was like, I gotta go. I don't know, it just went up and okay. it went in, so. You saw a picture of it, like Yeah, I mean, it's crazy because in practice, I kind of make weird one-handed shots like that. I don't know how, but if I can get the ball pumped, I got a good chance of making it. You had 17 in that game. Jimmy had 18 against Buffalo. Eric had 22. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe had 18 against Pitt. Um, Emmett scored. Um, Muhammad's done some scoring. It's got to be difficult for other teams to say, okay, who do we stop? Oh, we stop this guy, somebody else is going to pop right. up and score. I mean, it just shows our versatility that yeah. we got multiple guys that can put the ball in the goal. Yeah. And I think that it'll be hard for teams going into conference because they don't know who to, you know, who to key on, who to put that spotlight on when we have multiple guys that can score the ball. Isn't that kind of the, the, the thought behind Huggins' five-out deal, though, is mm -hmm. that anybody can score – if you keep moving and you keep moving the ball and, right. and attack the rim and back cut when guys are overplaying things like that? I mean, yeah. I mean, to score the ball, you need space. Guys need space to score the ball. You can't just score the ball with a big cluster. And right. during film, every time we have a cluster, we don't score the ball. So I think that spacing is key. Is that what he always says, spacing? Yes, yeah, spacing. That's a big word. Get to your five spots. Yeah. You had talked in the preseason about how much work you'd put in to improve your game and, and to help out offensively. So, mm -hmm. so the fact you mean that you're shooting better and, and, and scoring more probably doesn't really surprise you. Right. Uh, but your, your assist numbers have mm -hmm. also gone up, and I don't know if that's really anything you can work on in the off season. Right. But, but uh, how much pride do you take in the, the fact that your assist numbers have gone way up as well as your mm -hmm. offense? I mean, I take pride in that. I mean, guys are just making shots. Guys getting in the gym, so I trust them with passing the ball and shooting it. I think that's pretty much it. The trust I have for the guys. How about in terms of limiting turnovers? You've only got, I believe, 19 mm -hmm. and 11 games, so your assist to turnover ratio is basically two to one right now. Last mm -hmm. year was about even. I mean, if I turned the ball over a lot, I probably wouldn't play as much, so I try to limit that as much as I can. You know, without Emmett, um, Seth, Kobe had to take on a bigger role Sunday. You know, what did you see from them, and what do you think that they need to do to, um, you know, continue improving? For Seth, I would tell him, just shoot the ball. In practice, he'll pass up a shot, try to take a tough one. I always tell him, just shoot it. If Seth just shoots the ball, he'll be pretty good because he can really shoot the ball. Kobe, Kobe was a point guard, but... At the same time, he could score the ball, but he's kind of, you know, he really don't show emotion. For Kobe to, you know, reach his potential, I just think he has to be aggressive. That's about it, because Kobe's a really good player. When aggressive. You're um, talking about spacing. So I guess especially around the basket makes a difference for someone like you. Really kind of had a habit of attacking the basket this year. How much of that is? Um, my first two years they always told me to just you know, just push the ball, push the ball, go until somebody stops you. But now I kinda have the mentality, I'm gonna go even if somebody stops me, I may get fouled or not. But I know if I get jammed up I have a big to dump it off to or a shooter on the wing ready to shoot the ball. Finishing? It's it's really easy when it's an open lane layup, right? But Definitely. there are going to be people there, and someone's going to try to. You might get fouled, like you said too. Mm -hmm. Media develop that on a balanced strength just to make sure it does get up and it does have a chance. I'm just keep my eyes on the rim. You know the contact is going to come. I mean, I'm driving the ball, seeking contact, but I'm still focused on making a shot. So I say, if you well, Coach Everhart, I always say, get your eyes on the rim. So. All right, due to this, how do you have your eyes on the rim, but also looking for the big? Premier guy, left, right, there's there's only two eyes, there's four other guys out there. <laughs> My peripheral vision, I can see him coming. Does that get better throughout the year? Because you 
there's so many new people you maybe not know where they're going to be right mm -hmm. now but probably more now than you did the first game mm -hmm. I would imagine you have a feel for where a guy is going to be when you do attack I kind of know where guys want the ball and every time I drive they're going to go to those spots so I think practice have prepared me for that this will be, you know, obviously you got this game and Christmas break and everything, but then, mm -hmm. you know, Big 12 play starts. Right. It, it's an old hat for you. But mm -hmm. So what, what gets you excited about this year's run through the Big 12? Uh, you know, just thoughts, concerns, uh, uh, venues. Uh, you know, what, what about the Big 12 this year has, has, uh, is on your mind? For one, it's my last year. Right. Two, I get to play, what, three games in Texas at home. Right. So I'm looking forward to that. Play against my cousin again one last time. I'll say that's pretty much it. And playing with these guys in the Big 12. I think this is a team built or ready for the, for the, the, the gauntlet, I guess, that the conference mm -hmm. brings? I mean, for sure. I mean, if we're not ready right now, yeah. we're going to be ready. Kitty, who's your cousin? Mike Miles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that? Did you guys grow up playing against each other a lot? My first time playing against him in an actual game was in high school. I think it was. I think it was my junior year or senior year. He was a freshman, mm -hmm. so that was our first time playing against each other. Was it always a battle? I mean, you know, the family rivalry type thing, or or, or was it friendly? I mean, it was pretty friendly. We didn't really get into that stuff, but now it's kind of like that because we're older and they want to see who's actually the better player. So I think it's like that now. So I guess for that TCU game, there's going to be an extra large yeah. family uh, section, right? Yeah, both sides of the family. <laughs> were you better than him when he was younger, I imagine, because you of had a course. couple years, but mm -hmm. was there a time that he got you and he said something to you? or? Have you always gotten over top of him? Nah, I've always been a big cousin. <laughs> Katie, thank you. No problem. Thank you.